The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has once again ignited the world of astronomy with its remarkable findings. After overcoming numerous delays and finally launching into space, the JWST has been producing scientific images that are leaving astronomers astounded. These images are revealing unexpected phenomena in the early stages of our universe, challenging our current understanding of physics. The universe, it seems, is full of surprises, and the JWST is uncovering them one by one. Recently, American astrophysicist and Nobel laureate Dr. John Mather announced that the JWST had discovered remnants of a previous universe. This discovery suggests a different origin and evolution of the universe, causing scientists to question their current understanding. The recent images have sparked a debate among astronomers as they grapple with the implications of these findings. The Big Bang Theory, despite its name, was not a single explosion at a specific location. Instead, it was a process that occurred throughout the entire universe everywhere at once. The singularity, a point in space and time where the laws of physics break down, was infinitely dense and hot, containing all the matter and energy that would eventually become the universe. This singularity began to expand rapidly in what we now call the Big Bang. Growing from an infinitesimally small point to an unfathomably vast expanse in a fraction of a second. As the universe expanded, it cooled down and matter began to form. The first atoms were created just a few minutes after the Big Bang, and over time, these atoms began to clump together, forming stars, galaxies, and eventually the complex structures we see today. The JWST has made several intriguing discoveries, one of which is a galaxy that is 10 times more massive than the Milky Way. Existing just 500 million years after the Big Bang, this discovery has thrown our cosmological model into question. Our current understanding of how galaxies and supermassive black holes form suggests that we don't have enough time after the Big Bang event to have created these very large galaxies and supermassive black holes. This has led to the consideration of new possibilities, such as the universe expanding faster shortly after the Big Bang than we previously thought or the existence of an unknown process that allowed these galaxies to form so quickly and efficiently. The JWST has also discovered another galaxy that has been found to be forming stars at an unprecedented rate just 500 to 550 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy has a radius of only 16 parsecs, which has left scientists baffled as it's unlike any galaxy that they've ever seen before. At this point, scientists are left wondering if this is indeed a galaxy, or if it's something entirely different. Some scientists speculate that it may be a star cluster, but it's still too large to be one. So what is it? What is happening in the early universe that we don't understand yet? Has our standard model failed us, or are the laws of physics in the early universe different from what we know today? One possibility is that an unknown mechanism may have supercharged the process of star formation in the early universe. This may explain why these early galaxies appear so massive and luminous. But another theory suggests that black holes in the early universe may have played a role in this phenomenon. It's believed that these black holes could have grown massive in short time frames, leading to the formation of many massive galaxies that we observed today. However, this theory raises more questions than it answers. How did black holes grow so quickly in the early universe? And what other mechanics are at play that we don't yet understand? One scientist, Nobel Prize winner Roger Penrose, believes that black holes from the previous universe may have accelerated the expansion of our universe after the Big Bang. Penrose has observed bright spots in the cosmic microwave background, or CMB which he believes are radiation emanating from ancient black holes that predate our universe. The recent discoveries made by the JWST are only making Penrose's theory of a cyclic universe stronger. 
But if Penrose's theory is correct, and black holes from a previous universe did indeed accelerate the expansion of our universe, then tracing the origin of the universe becomes impossible, because a cyclic universe refers to an endless chain of universes connecting to each other. The behavior of early galaxies is so complex that no existing theory has been able to explain it. It may be time to consider other possible creation theories to understand the early universe as the standard model seems clueless at this point. The JWST has discovered another galaxy called Glass Z12 just 350 million years after the Big Bang. Another galaxy was found just a short distance away from it, formed just 450 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, much smaller than the Milky Way, but incredibly bright and producing stars at an astonishing rate, suggest that galaxies may have started appearing just 100 million years after the Big Bang, defying previous theories about when and how the first galaxies formed. The JWST has given us a front row seat to the early stages of the universe, helping us to better understand how it all began. As scientists sifted through the data collected by the JWST, they were amazed to discover that there were even more galaxies in the universe than they had anticipated. The universe seemed to turn out galaxies at an unprecedented rate, faster and earlier than researchers had imagined. This has opened up a new area of research as scientists work to understand why the universe was so efficient at creating galaxies in the early stages of its development. The JWST has just discovered another galaxy, the Sears 93316 Galaxy Candidate, born a whopping 250 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy has a record redshift of Z equal to 16.7, meaning that this galaxy is really far away, and we're seeing it as it appeared in the universe's infancy. Scientists believe that at the edge of the universe lies a galaxy called Abel 2744Y1. This galaxy is so far away from us that its light takes a whopping 13 billion years to reach us. Despite being 50 times smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy, Able 2744Y1 is producing stars at a rate 10 times faster than the Milky Way. The recent discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope have challenged our understanding of the universe and opened up new avenues for research and exploration. As we continue to delve deeper into the cosmos, the universe still has many secrets to reveal. The universe, it seems, is full of surprises and the JWST is uncovering them one by one. These discoveries are not only reshaping our understanding of the universe's history, but also paving the way for future explorations. So, what are your thoughts on the recent discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.